Hi, this is Jenna Farmer. I'm going to go over a couple of automatic chicken farms that have relatively small footprints. Please hit that like button if you enjoy this video. So, both of these chicken farms start off like this with a chest and a hopper. And we're going to use dispensers to shoot eggs onto a slab so baby chickens are made every one time in eight and then they will grow up into adult chickens where when they'll be killed and this first uh, first farm uses a <clears throat> excuse me a sticky piston with uh, two observers that look at each other and create a real fast redstone clock which causes the eggs to be shut out um, both of these designs will shoot multiple eggs if multiple eggs go in at the same time. There are, um, <clears throat> neither of these are really my original design, but these are the ones that I like to use because I like to put a lot of chickens in there, and if you have multiple eggs go in at once, sometimes they will not, other designs will not shoot them all out. It'll shoot the first one and then leave more in there. So these will shoot as many eggs as go in. So you see here, you've got a simple comparator that when there's something in the dispenser, it sends a signal into the observer, or, the, or it sends a signal and the observer sees the update. Um, then what I'm doing is gonna place another observer on the hopper, which will power the hopper and power the dispenser when these two observers are looking at each other. So you'll see here, when you put something in, I'm putting in a slab here, just as an example, you see that Back pist the back observer is pushed up and the two observers look at each other which create a back and forth real fast clock. All right. So uh, now this is not the way it's intended to work. I'm just going to show you what happens when you put in a bunch of eggs. It'll shoot them all out. In this case it's going to shoot them out across the desert which is just a lot of fun but not the way we're going to run it. All right. So then we'll close in the front here and uh, when the machine is operating, it will, the slab will hold the baby chickens that are created from the eggs. Whoops, I dropped my glass. Um, and they will grow up to be adult chickens. And when they grow up to be adult chickens, there's going to be a solid block over their head that kills them. Um, this design I like to use here does not cook the chickens. It just suffocates them. So you get raw chicken and I like to do that because my needs for personal eating are not uh, that high in a, in a single player world but what I like to do is get a lot of raw chicken to sell to my villager butchers um, and this works great for that all right so that's that's the design right there basically you got that one block the stone brick block is going to suffocate the baby chickens when they grow up now I'm going to create the little funnel around here that we'll use to <clears throat> get your chickens in. Um, I'm going to use chicken spawn eggs for the purposes of this video, but in the real world you would get eggs or lure chickens in or both. Um, and I put in about 24 chickens. In this example I actually put in more than that because I wasn't counting and so we end up with a little raw chicken right away from the entity cramming, but so that's that design. Now the next design uh, starts off the same way with a dispenser and a slab closed off by glass. So this one you're going to put again a um, comparator on the back of the dispenser. Um, in this case, oh I, I'm sorry, I meant to say though, but on this one the hopper goes into the back of the dispenser rather than the top and what that's going to do is allow us to use this to either get raw chicken or cooked chicken and you'll see how that works here in a second we're going to put some lava over top of the um, where the solid brick block is on the other one so you have a dispenser you have a hopper you have the comparator getting the signal out of the hopper Put a repeater there to boost the signal because it's going to be a very weak signal. Um, run this redstone around. All right, you run the redstone back up. 
and it's going to go into a stone brick. You don't need a stone brick, just any, any building block. Um, but you see that the redstone is also going into the side of the comparator, and what that'll do is cause this to rapidly cycle uh, like a clock, it on and off and on and off and on and off, because the comparator will continually turn itself off, essentially. it'll That signal going to the side will be higher than the signal coming into the comparator. So I'm putting a bunch of baby chickens in, um, or not baby chickens, in this case adult chickens. All right, you don't need that redstone blob right there. I just did that out of habit, and I realized you, all you need is the redstone going into the brick block. But when this activates, it will send the power into that brick block, which will activate the dispenser. All right, so same, uh, different layout, but the same thing is being accomplished as in the other one. You're um, creating a signal that shoots the eggs out when there are when the in this case when the comparator sees eggs going through the hopper it uh, will activate the dispenser all right got a little bit of raw chicken because I put too many chickens in there but above that you have the <clears throat> excuse me above this slab you're gonna have that solid block which will suffocate the chickens and you'll get raw chicken or you can put lava in there now I put lava here accidentally in the wrong spot you need it just above the slab <clears throat> I accidentally put it too above so I'm gonna take it out real quick but and I'll show you where you really put it um, in this case it's flowing down actually this would probably work but you don't need the lava that high the slab is gonna keep the lava from flowing all the way down and you'll see here that there's just enough room that the baby chickens with their smaller hitboxes will fit in there. Uh, and they'll be fine until they grow up. And when they become adult chickens, their hitbox extends up into lava and it'll kill them and cook them. All right, so this actually works really well. Uh, this is the first design I I think I ever used. I really like it. Um, I'm starting to turn now to where I favor the Observer because it's got a much smaller footprint. I love the idea of that tiny footprint from the other one. Uh, but you know, it's up to you and this one does allow you more um, to use lava so that you can get cooked chicken if you're primarily making this for your own eating. But you see their little tiny hitboxes and when they grow up, this one too, they'll extend. So that's the two designs. I hope you like them, and I hope you find one of these that you uh, really want to use yourself. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.